Good evening and welcome back once again. Hopefully you did watch the last video. If you haven't, please do go and check it out. It was the Europa League final against West Ham and we won 6-0 and it was just a breathtaking performance. Everyone was brilliant. Uh, Martinelli got man of the match, but it could have been any one of sort of three or four players. And then to go and top it all off in the, what, 92nd, 93rd minute, something like that, kusan has got a chance with a free kick from about 25 yards out and slotted it away right into the top corner. Just a perfect end to a, a brilliant game and what a campaign it has been in Europe. Our first season in Europe, don't forget that. And today it's the final fixture of the league and we've actually gone in with quite a change lineup just to give some people some game time. The main one I want to touch on is Arkas. He will be leaving us at the end of the season this is his last match we're gonna start him just because of that it, i don't even care if he was on a downward red he was gonna start today we've got the likes of emerson kosunu omarajic backer so a full strength back four obviously mandana is not our first choice goalkeeper normally we are putting mariba in that deeper line midfield role i say arcas in midfield fabio vieira as usual and we're gonna start with zirksy up top because he's on an upward form martinelli on the left as normal and we're actually gonna go with rubo castro in the right hand position but the likelihood is that Perez will come on at some point and it's really nice that we actually get to finish the league campaign at home we are going to play it in our favoured second trip which sounds a bit weird that I say that but I do prefer this sort of red going into what like a pinkish sort of salmon colour um, really like that it's my favourite strip of, of the three that Malaga's got on this uh, on this patch but yes the uh, heads will be held high today, no matter what happens. And like I say, Arkas, big shout out to him. He's been such a great player for the past two seasons. And I've said it before, but he's played in every single position that he could have in midfield or attack. He's never played in defence or goal, obviously, but um, he's played in every position that he could have. Here's Emerson. Ooh, good block. That was a well-struck shot. He's just been a a jack of all trades and maybe that's been his downfall a little bit um the fact that he hasn't sort of nailed down a position just because he's been so good at just slotting in anywhere that he's asked to and he always puts in like a seven out of ten performance Vieira, no blocked again i need to stop having those shots from there and when i say seven out of ten i don't mean by pez standards because seven's actually a magnificent score on, on pez because it's not really out of ten to be honest um I'm not sure quite what that is. Uh, Castro was trying something a little bit uh, cheeky, but didn't come off. I could be in trouble here, actually. Mariba trying to get back to help. And he just about does. And he actually managed to get the tackle well away from Mariba there. Ran the full length of the pitch to, to help there. Here's Castro. Not on his favourite position on the right. Martinelli, oh, just wide. But I did feel like Castro had to start the last match. I mean, it's, you don't want to leave anyone out, really, do you? Um, to be honest, Cixi, I don't think Ward's going to start, but he's on that upward form, so he had to. Oh, whoops, what's he doing? He's fallen over. <laughs> Block though from Xerxes, well worked. Castro. Arcas. Offside. I mean, I'm not going to push for it, but wouldn't it be great if Arcas actually scored on his his last match? Now, we have got that friendly at the end of the season after this, which is against what they call the old boys or whatever, and it's basically all of the players that are retiring that year, they, they pick the best sort of 25 or however many it is in the squad um, and you can play against them but I never actually well I'm, I'm not going to play it I'm just going to sim it Morinelli oh, deflects corner though and obviously those retired players do get regenerated and they pop back in the game at some point in the next season oh good save very good header from Cossonu Vieira Arcas, no, I'm not going to score from there. <laughs> but yeah, the regens. Do they? I think 
Did they come in twice a year? I can't, for some reason, I can't remember. Um, I know that definitely some of them come in in January. I think some of them come in the summer as well, but it's it's like random which ones go in which time. Ooh. Goalkeeper got there in the end. It could have actually been a free kick from that initial challenge. Not hitting the heights of the last match so far, that final, which was just, we were just slaughtered, West Ham. Was there? Here's Martinelli though. Xerxes, one 0 Lovely play from Martinelli and a nice slide and finish from Xerxes. He seems to do that a lot. I'm not quite sure why. But really nice play from Xerxes initially. Martinelli kept it, and it's well, it should have been a simple tap in, but he uh, nearly made a mess of it. Yeah, I don't know why he scores a lot of goals like that and also misses a lot of chances by sliding in. I don't know if he's got um, one of the traits which is like... Uh, is it like acrobatic finishing or something like that? I don't know if it then makes them almost slip more, but it actually doesn't affect how they take the shots. I don't know. It's, it's strange. Because not a lot of other players seem to do that. Arcas, all wide. And I've said it before, I kind of do regret selling him. Like, couldn't I have just kept him, and even if he didn't play much, just keep him? But what's the point? And I was offered, like, 25 million or so, and we need the money. Um. So, yeah, I still think it was the right decision. I just I wish I could have kept him and made the money somehow else, but it's very hard to make money on this game. Here's Castro. Oh, well played there. Castro, just wide. I thought about chipping it, but the the angle was very narrow. To try and chip it over the keeper from that distance, it probably would have either fell into the keeper's hands or gone over. And if you hit them absolutely perfectly, you can still score them from a tight angle. You smash it. Oh, somehow they get through. Good tackle by Kosinu though. It's been rock solid in defence this season. Castro, Ozirxi. Back to Castro. Oh! Hits the woodwork, and that's exactly what I was saying. I mean, that was from a tight angle on the, uh, the last one, and I absolutely hit that perfectly. It's just slightly too high. But technique wise, it was perfect. That would have been some goal. And Castro has been, I wouldn't say revelation, because I purposely bought him knowing. Ooh. 1 1. That was sloppy. You look here, this pass over the top, it was a, I mean, it was a decent pass, he was just on side, but it should have been dealt with, and that jump there, that was poor. I think he almost stopped Kosinu getting through. But yeah, Castro wasn't a revelation, because I've used him on previous pairs games as a regen, and I've always loved him, even if his, he seems to play better than his stats. That's what I would say. You know, he's not like a, stat-wise, he's, I think, 73 overall. Which you wouldn't say is, you know, fantastic or anything. Um, here's Arcas. Oh, well, the keeper seemed to make a meal of that. Martinelli. Oh, good save. That was a good save that time. Here's Castro. Arcas. Here's Mariba now. Nice play to Martinelli. He's offside. That should be half time now. And we will jump straight into the second half. Once the whistle goes. There it is. Shouldn't have been there. Uh, should have been quite a few goals up, to be honest. And just looking at the stats at half time, we had 66% possession. So two thirds exactly. 
We had 14 shots at goal. Um, not all of them on target, obviously. And we just let in the one chance they've had. And that's very disappointing. And it's happened a couple of times where we've, you know, dominated games and still gone on to win and everything. But the, the only chance we let them have... Hang on, here's Martinelli. And it's 2-1 anyway. Martinelli with his trademark cutting in from the left and slotting it around the keeper. Really nice ball from Xerxes. Not sure why the defender stopped and it was just a matter of getting this on target. Lovely pass. I mean, I say just getting on target, obviously you have to slot it around the keeper, but Martinelli does it so well. I think as long as he's not going to hit it wide, he's pretty much guaranteed the score. Yeah, Castro has been such a good player this season. Probably done better than even what I thought he would, even though he's not exactly a revelation. I just thought it'd be more like, okay, you'll get the odd game here and there. Nelly put him out on loan. Um, ooh, Arcas Blake going to play. He does so well, Arcas. Through to Martinelli. Lovely play. Ah, uh, Martinelli, come on. you got to do better than that. That's not like Martinelli at all. He, I think he did have to hold up the ball. I don't think he could cut inside. But you'd expect him to hold on to it and then make a pass. Kusant was a brilliant find. He was free, remember? Um... It's great to get a player of his quality for free. And not on a massive salary either. Which I would have been happy to even pay him more of a salary if I meant getting him on board for a free transfer. But we didn't, didn't even have to blow the budget on that. He is backer. He's been brilliant as well. Martinelli. Arcas. Ugh, trying to be too precise there I thought about having a shot with Arcas I've already had about four shots with him and I'm, I'm genuinely not doing it on purpose just to try and get him a goal he just seems to keep finding himself in positions where he's uh, where he should be having a shot here's Castro oh oh Zerxia yeah, pressed L1 by mistake which changes the player I don't know why I pressed that I basically had a tap in we'll make some subs soon as well and I think we might bring Arcas and just off rather just for him to get that uh, round of applause and we'll do that now. So yes, the subs are going to make us Carlos Perez on for Ruben Castro. Herrera is coming on for Vieira and Bajer is coming on for Arcas. There he goes, Arcas. I'm sure you would have got a massive round of applause. Big congratulations for him. He's actually had a really good game. He just fortunately couldn't get that goal, which I think he deserved, but... Wasn't going to try and force it. He did have a few shots. But Carlos Perez, I mean, you know, he's still our first choice right side of player. And he had to come on for the final league game, didn't he? It's Martinelli now. Nice play to back it. Back it. Oh, it's going to be well wide. <laughs> Good job I hit the defender. Actually, back it. Oh, straight to the keeper. Deflected again. But I would say, because we got the, the wing backs in, um, Emerson and Bakker, and they've made such a difference. Big improvement. And I think Emerson started the better in the first few games. Like, oh, this guy's brilliant, you know, very attacking, more more than defensively. Um, and Bakker looked very solid defensively. But as, the, as this sort of season's gone on, I would say Bakker is all round definitely the better wing back for me. Um, not that they're competing for that position, obviously. But in terms of signings, he's been very good. Um, but I think that's partly down to the way we play as well. Oh, nice ball to Xerxes. Oh, should have scored, but it was a nice save. Yeah, the way we play is we, we don't tend to use the wingbacks an awful lot. We do have some games where we use them and they do contribute, but they're more there for just support defensively mainly. The odd attack they get involved in. Here's Martinelli. Xerxes, back to Martinelli. Oh, it's the outside of the post. Should have been three. Very good effort though.
yes, I don't think it's really a slight against Emerson at all. I think it's just that he has had some very good games. There's a couple of matches where he was like, to me, he was man of the match, but they're few and far between. Very solid otherwise, um, but a lot of the games you don't tend to notice back on Emerson, just because, like I say, the, the style that we play, the way we play... Nice play from Perez. Xerxes. Nice effort. He did about as much as he could. The way the ball didn't fall kindly. Here's Mariba. It's a poor challenge. Martinelli. Now Xerxes. Martinelli again. Oh, just couldn't quite get the pass away. Some tired legs after a long season. Now Xerxes again. Martinelli, Martinelli again, oh, deflects, it's out for a corner, only a few minutes left, as long as we don't let in an equaliser, that's the main thing. Oh, acrobatic from Costanu, he did score one like that this season. So many players I could speak about, but um, yeah, Herrera is very, very solid in that deeper lying midfield role. When you look at his stats, the amount that he does that you don't sort of realise, the tackles, the interceptions, the passes. Oh, good tackle there. And that could be it, and it is. A good way to end the season. It wasn't spectacular, but we got the three points. Herrera looks like he's got man of the match. And what a great season this has been. Morelli get man of the match. Not really a surprise. Xerxes, very good performance as well. Just a lot of dependable performances, even when they're not spectacular throughout. And as you can see, just looking at the table, 112 points. The only points we actually dropped was one draw. We only let in 19 goals, half a goal a game, and we scored a massive 111 to get a 92 goal difference. Atletico Madrid finishing second, maybe a little bit surprised that Real Madrid third, Barcelona way down in six, and they got knocked out of the Copa del Rey early, I think, as well. Relegation-wise, it's Girona, Leganes, and Real Valladolid that are going down. And team of the season is in, and Cousins, Vieira, and Xerxes being in the team of the season, I mean, I agree them being in it, what about Martinelli? Martinelli has been so good, but maybe because he's only played half a season. I mean, to have three players in there is still very, very good. And just looking at the stats for the players, the likes of Carlos Perez with 20 goals, Martinelli with 19, but remember that's off only 20 games. He's scored pretty much a goal a game. 7.1 rating, how he didn't get in the team of the year. Vieira, just so good. 13 goals, 9 assists. The captain, ever-present. Ruben Castro, like I say, not a revelation, but did way better than I would even expect him. I was thinking more there's going to be for the next season or the season after that he was going to get those sort of figures, but 28 goals, 23 assists as well the likes of Mariba, Bajer, Houghton getting some goals, Cousins outstanding player in midfield, Herrera like I say he doesn't get many stats but he does a lot of the dirty work, breaks up play, interceptions, he sets the ball rolling, he sets the team up so he may not got the actual final stats but he's a very very dependable player. Mudrick sometimes flattered to deceive you know some games he was amazing and then he would have patches where two or three games he would just go missing extremely good player and he's still improving got to remember that as well look at Xerxes though 27 goals even though Ruben Castro's pretty much almost taken his place he's still got 27 goals compared to Castro's 28 can't forget that and he's got 18 assists as well I don't know sometimes I feel like he's not performing as well as I want him to do but looking at the stats he's pretty much on a par with Castro and he's actually got a slightly better rating average so yeah maybe I just need to take that count and obviously Arcas his last match there he's still got 34 games a lot of them would have been subject appearances but he managed to get five goals and 12 assists very dependable player he's going to be a big miss when he goes this summer but that is it for this season guys absolutely have enjoyed it very very much especially the europa league win we're going to be in the champions league next year we want to keep the title for the league see how we get in the champions league against the big boys 
Now, the next episode is likely to be some summer transfers, some dealings, see what the young players coming back in that have been on loan are looking like. What sort of youth players could we bring up? We've got to balance that budget. We haven't got a massive amount to spend and we've got to be very careful with the actual salary budget as well. No doubt some of our players will want a pay increase because of what we've done this season. And then what we'll probably do in the next episode is have a little bit of that transfer look at and also the first match of the next season. Thank you for those that have watched. I really do appreciate it please hit that like button drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join us for next season cheers